Roll the clip. Peeps up in Alma City, don't try to come for me. Hey. What's up, losers, and welcome back. Would you stop? What's up, losers, and welcome back to another Nellyville. Welcome back to another every freaking Wednesday. So let's just get right into the tea. What do I want to talk about today? Read the title before you click. Miss Todrick Hall was robbed a few days ago and and i think that we need to talk about it it's opening up a larger conversation that we need to address so before i get into what what i want to say before i speak my piece let's just introduce todrick hall so if you don't know who todrick hall is todrick hall is an entertainer a singer a rapper a performer a all around performer todrick hall is kiki with taylor swift with brandy with rupaul so you, you know this, this somebody so if you don't know if you haven't at least heard the name todrick hall get out more i don't know what to tell you he, he, he gives what needs to be gay over the weekend todrick hall while out of town was robbed of fitting thousand fitty not fifty, fifty thousand dollars worth of stuff stolen, gone, out of there, out of his crib. Last I checked, it it, it seemed he made a statement. They haven't publicly said who did it, but from the statement that Todrick made, it seems like he knows who it who it is, or they have a pretty good idea of who it was. So I'm gonna read the statement to you. Not that y'all don't know how to read. I just want I just want to read it to you so if you, you know I look I'm trying to help I'm trying to paint the picture he puts this on his Instagram just landed back in America to hundreds of messages and calls from my family and friends I am okay and unharmed I'm devastated that someone would do this to me and even more disturbed to see people celebrating and laughing about it online this happened less than an hour after my cat sitter left my home and i'm just happy that my cats have all been found and are safe I'm taking a break from social media for a few days to wrap my head around this and get my mind together. Be careful who you let in your close circle. They really will put your life and their life on the line just to steal a Louis Gucci bag. Sad. First of all, the part that he said that people were laughing and celebrating that he got robbed, Look, I know that people think, well, he's got money. He, he got, if he bought it before, he can buy it again. It's just stuff and make fun. I don't know. I, I haven't looked too much into it. I don't know who, what exactly people are saying. And I know that for some people, it's hard for them to see celebrities as people and be like, oh, okay, so you got that. It's still an invasion of privacy, y'all. If you ever had something stolen from you, if you ever had your car or your home broken into, that, that's, that, that shit ain't, I don't care who it is. It's not funny because you get robbed more of your material possessions it is just a total mind it messed with your mind for a really for a long time so the people who's making fun and poking fun you know look be careful what you laugh at i hope it don't come back on you i'm just saying another thing is now he mentioned something about the cat the cat sitter so either somebody knew the schedule and was like okay the cat said to leave i'm gonna go whoa uh, but I also wonder what was it the cat sitter? Look, this is obviously an inside job. So I also know that Todrick Hall, had, I think, recently had a music video filmed in his home. Don't quote me on that. But the, the thing is, it's got to be an inside job. Probably not exactly somebody that he knows, but somebody who probably got on the phone and was like, yeah, man, this is what you need. These are the codes, dog. This is what you know. Somebody, somebody that knows somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because, because how else? It's just obviously it's an inside job. So to go to his point of be careful who you let in your close circle. Be careful who you let in your far circle. You know, don't trust no one. Don't don't trust your friends. Don't trust your kids. Don't trust your don't trust yourself. Look, have you ever looked at your bank statement and was like, oh, what happened? Who spent all this money? It was you. It was you that spent the money. That's another topic. But look, I, I know I'm kind of making a joke out of this one. I'm trying to kind of trying to make light of something that's a little dark because, you know, we don't do dark over here on this channel. But really, before I get to my next point, I just want to say, yeah, material things were stolen. Nobody was harmed. 
but I, I bet these were probably one of a kind possessions. These were probably things that were given to him by high status people. Things that are probably irreplaceable and has sentimental values. Beyond the, just this situation, you know, this is a good time for us to kind of really think about who has access to us. Who has access to your mind, to your money, to your home? You know, you want to help people out and you like to think that people are, are kind and good hearted and mean well like you. Everybody's got an angle. Everybody. Everybody has an angle. And I'm a firm believer of innocent until proven guilty. Absolutely. But you cannot be naive. Most of the time when stuff goes wrong, it's somebody that's really, really close to you. Very rarely is it just some stranger. You know what I'm saying? You need to be aware of your surroundings. You need to be, you just need to, I'm not trying to plant no seeds in y'all's minds. I'm just saying the people that you thinking about right now, that you think is the last person that will cross you, they can cross you. You hope not, but you just need to really be on high alert, okay? Especially when you're somebody who's got a, who has a lot of material things. I don't like to tell people, well, don't be flashy, don't show people. No, why not? Look, if you worked hard for something and you got something you want, you should be able to enjoy it without having to worry about somebody come, 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 try to snatch your bag and snatch you, you woo, woo, and key your car up and all of that. But do it in a way that you are protecting yourself. And beyond material things, protect y'all. Y'all just let people have access to your heart and to your mind. You don't, need to, you don't need to be doing all of that. You know what I'm saying? You give people access here and here. You give them easier access to, to rob your blind. Fit it. $50,000 $50, worth of his mess stuff. Uh, look, I, I just, look, I'm, I'm not going to keep going on and on. If you want to look into the store, look into it. But more than that, go support Todrick Call. Go stream his music. Go, 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 just, just go enjoy. Very talented young man. I, I really hate that this happened to him. But I hope that it's a learning experience. And look, and, and sometimes you do think you're being cautious. And, and, and sometimes misfortune just happens it just happens no matter what you do but at the end of the day everybody's safe nobody was harmed pets are safe then nobody hurt the little cats you know what i'm saying but i you know just really just really pay attention because pe people people are shady people are shady and uh whoever did it i don't i don't think they, they're not gonna get away with it Cause they, and, and even if they do get away with God's song, you know what I'm saying? So you might, and, and this is for my, to, to my shady ladies out here, to my shady gentlemen out here. If you are the type of person that goes around doing little shady underhand stuff to people, you might thought you got away with it, but karma and God will always get that. Do unto others is all I'm saying. You know, everybody act like, oh, I'm so good. No. You're all shady. I'm shady. We all shady. Just be careful what you do and what you say to people. Anyways, um, so I, I spoke my piece on that. I just wanted to just share that and remind you all to just, just watch your back. You know what I'm saying? Watch, watch your back, man. You, 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 only, you and God got you. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. So just... Don't be paranoid. I, I hope I didn't make nobody paranoid. I know that's not what I'm trying to do. I just, sometimes we get comfortable. If somebody robbles over our $50,000 stuff. Yeah. I, I don't. Anyways, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button. Give this video a big fat thick thumbs up. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Anyways, um, yeah, so like that's it. I will see you in the next video. Bye! Woo! <laughs> and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. <laughs> now, ew, that was ugly.